Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. I wanted to start this video off a little bit differently. It is the morning. The kids are off to school. This is the first real day that we've had to get up here and get a good solid day's worth of work. And I don't know, probably a couple weeks now. It feels like forever, but we're up here working and I just wanted to show you guys the state of the office right now. We're not pulling any packages at this moment, but right now, uh, last night, Kathy uh, had photographed a ton of shoes. She's over there working away. <laughs> I don't like, so I used to be photographing on this table, but it yeah. has so many marks on it that just like. Yeah, this, the material on this table, so it like just. I'm constantly like trying it, to hide, you know. It picks up spots. stains and they don't wipe off. And I don't want them in the photos that I'm taking, so no, yeah. I use that table, which means so I, I think everything off of it. I think this table is probably on its way out. We're probably going to figure <laughs> yeah. out something else. We got Reese over there snoozing away. Dude. Did you get enough sleep? <laughs> but look, guys, this is uh, the state of the, <laughs> the state of the office right now. This is Kathy's process. Um, <laughs> it works for her. It doesn't really work for me, <laughs> but I'm not gonna argue with it. This is what we have right now. So she was over here last night photographing a bunch, and so we're gonna spend the morning and get this stuff all organized and what well, you got all this stuff photographed right so we just need to make That's sure photograph listed i'm cross posting right now and then this is what i'm photographing and listing today and okay tomorrow's but these will be by the time you see our wet solds today these <laughs> will all be photographed and at least hopefully bagged um yeah and hopefully put away but what yeah gotta be careful reese like a <laughs> he adjusted himself he's gonna get run over Oh, the tummy rub. So, yeah, I just wanted to get you guys to see this, that, you know, this office is not always the <laughs> nice, clean, organized workspace that it seems. You know, we do... Uh, we do work up here, <laughs> believe it or not. So that's what we're gonna be working on this morning. And then I think we'll check back in and just let you guys know what we're doing throughout the day. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we've uh, been working, got things cleaned up a little bit. Kathy just photographed. 30 pairs. 30 pairs, that was that pile over here. Reese has been working hard, I'll tell you that. So basically my listings for today and tomorrow. Yeah, and I got the, I got the things that she photographed bagged, so we were working on putting them away. And you know, we watch YouTube while we're working pretty much all day. Um, and yeah, I was just gonna show, we do get the question quite a bit of how how do we know where to put stuff <laughs> right, yeah, when so, we I mean, are bagging it. Y'all have seen our spreadsheet, so we just search up whatever, like these are Crocs clogs, found yeah. them. So right now they don't have a bin location, so we just find a place to put them. Yeah. Which right now we're kind of full. I was gonna say, I would normally be doing this part, but yeah. I'm, I'm holding the camera, <laughs> so it's a little hard to... <laughs> We just right. go around and find space. Maybe reconfigure if we have to. Never moving the thing out of the box that we pulled out. So BM. Yeah. And then we take BM. Obviously, like Chris said, it's faster when he's just taking it. Right, me, right. Telling me what box and I type it and go to the next one, but. Yeah, this is the point where normally, you know, she'll either weigh it if we haven't got our weight. This is the point of almost no return. Everything's photographed, ready to be listed. Yeah. Um, bagged, everything has been cleaned at this point, you know, hair removed or whatever. And yeah, once it's in the inventory, it doesn't come out until it sells or until we... Unless someone asks a question, which yeah. often I will probably ignore <laughs> because it's already bagged up and I don't want to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's not the best business practice, but hey, it eventually sells to someone who didn't ask a question about it. That's so. true. That is true. Yeah. So yeah, it just kind of sticks in there until we either have to pull it out for any reason. Um, sometimes we'll take it out to donate. Does, that doesn't happen very often, but um, you know, maybe once a year we'll go through and do that kind of thing. But yeah, I just figured we'd show you guys that kind of process. You, I feel like a lot of people think it's it's a lot more complicated than it really is, and it's not. We just find space and we notify where it is, and that's. I just want to show you guys that. And yeah, it's about. Uh, it's we got about. It's almost lunchtime. Twenty minutes to twelve. Yeah, we've been working all morning, and we're gonna. 
go get some lunch. And I don't know, Kathy was thinking about hitting store. a thrift store. <laughs> well, if, like to, if we're gonna get a lunch, yeah, if we're gonna go, go if we're gonna go buy lunch or breakfast or something, we try to hit up a thrift store and find some potential profit to help cover our meal. Um, Plus, I have a free five dollar. <laughs> she has a coupon that's been burning a hole in her pocket. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And uh, I'm sure we'll check back in a little bit later. All right, guys. So we uh, we go thrifting at this this uh, thrift store right here, New Horizons. It's a fairly new thrift store in the Springs. What probably opened less than a year ago, yeah, maybe a year yeah. ago. And we've always seen this um, this Thai food restaurant. Let me see if I can zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom in. <laughs> uh, it, way over there in the same parking lot. We've always said. We need to go check that place out. So today we're gonna go check it out. We've never been there. We're gonna see, um, you know, I don't know pricing or anything. It, it just looks like a little hole in the wall. So I don't think it's gonna be too expensive or anything, but we're gonna go and uh, get lunch and then try to cover our lunch, at least cover our lunch with sourcing in uh, New Horizons. So yeah. we'll go, I don't know. Do you guys like Thai food? It looks like it's Thai food and Japanese ramen. I love Vietnamese, Chinese yeah. food. So I'm probably, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so. I don't know. So we're going to go see what we get, and then hopefully we can cover our lunch bill. So, yeah. yeah. Should be pretty easy. Should be easy. <laughs> All right, guys. We just finished eating. It was delicious. What did we spend? Uh, after tip, 40 bucks. So. 40 bucks with tip. So. 40 bucks even. Yeah. So, so we're going to go and, yeah, we should be able to find enough to cover the, our lunch <laughs> at least. So we're gonna run in. We have probably, I don't know what, 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, we wanna leave around two. It's 1.15, I don't wanna leave before two. But yeah. At the very latest too, and I say the very latest because I say I wanna leave early and then still we'll be here till two, so. <laughs> so we're gonna go find some stuff and then we'll be back out here. All right, guys, so we are back from the thrift store. It was getting pretty loud out there. It was a lot of traffic along that road. So we decided to come home and show you guys what we found in the comfort of our office. So <laughs> I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy. She found a bunch of clothes. I found a couple things. I do think we found enough to pay for our lunch and then some, but I'm gonna let Kathy show you guys what she found. And yeah, we'll show you guys what I found. And actually, we got Reese a treat at the thrift store. This thrift store has like baked goods almost inside, like yeah, a bunch of like food. They got like caramel corn, like popcorn Not, like, and stuff. Gross, like expired old grocery store stuff, but like literally somebody makes it and like yeah. brings it there. Anyways, it's a pretty cute thrift store. If you're ever in Colorado Springs, Reese. Yeah, and they do. Uh, have... These are like are these homemade dog treats? Well, I don't know about this. This is just from a company, but like they are real. They have people food yeah. too. <laughs> Reese, you want a treat? Look at mommy. Don't look at me. What you got? Look at mommy. Reese. Hey, go. Oh, boy. yeah. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Right there. Really? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, um, I'm going to have to hear him licking and chomping for a minute. <laughs> I definitely think, well, yeah, make 40 bucks. But we didn't find anything amazing. Actually, uh, most of what I got is just the same thing. And yeah. probably most people would not pick this up, but I did. So these... All the red tags were half off, so that's why I grabbed all these. Um, I've sold a couple recently. They're just round tree in New York, which I think is like Dillard's or something. Yeah. But big sizes. Some are four, size 48 all the way to like 52s. Uh, multi quantity. But anyway, so red was half off. It's random. Like these are priced at $7.99. These are $4.99. So <laughs> four, $2.50, but I'll average them all out. So. Probably around three fifty or so a pair. And they were the exact same, right? Yeah, like same size, same size and everything. Same brand, same new tag. Yep. So yeah. That's most of what I got. It's just a bunch of those. But these will sell for at least I would say twenty dollars plus shipping a pair. Which again isn't a huge money, but I got Hey. Please. Quiet down. <laughs> Crunching and jumping. About how loud I know. <laughs> um, Poor yes, decisions were made. Eight pairs or more. I don't know. All of these. Yeah, and at this thrift store, if you spend what thirty-five bucks, you 30, get maybe? a yeah. five. Is it thirty? You get a five-dollar coupon on your so next purchase. Chris comes, we <laughs> we divide and conquer. <laughs> so yeah, now we got ten bucks to spend again next time we go. These expire in like ten days, though, so you have to pretty much go regularly. Yeah, which we do. So yeah, um, my whole total for everything that I'm showing you here was fifty-five eighty-seven with tax. Um, 
So yeah, well, the doggy bone was 79 cents. <laughs> so, $54 in tax. I, I see you didn't round up either. <laughs> I didn't round up. I rounded up. <laughs> it was like it 15 cents. Like, I don't know. I usually do, mostly because I just feel bad. This is the one store where they don't say it out loud. They just let right. you choose it on the screen. But yeah. It's also a, a, a mission-based, right? They, That's true. I should have rounded up. I'm a, I'm a jerk. It's not a big chain, so they're a smaller... I think they have... Well, it is a chain because there are multiple branches around Colorado, but it's not like Goodwill or Arc or anything like that, so... So, yeah. next time I'll round <laughs> my 13 cents. Um, this was a cool thing, though. Yeah, I just... So, um, when I found this, I normally don't even pick up a ton of sports. Like, I see Bronco stuff all day, every day. Yeah. I passed three things in the same exact row. But this just felt interesting. And then I saw that it said on field, which obviously it has this, which is not a big deal. Yeah. Then I saw this, I was like, what is that? So it's like the Reebok System pump. control pump. And I knew the Reebok pump shoes were good. And I was like, so I was like looking at it. Yeah. Anyways, I brought it to Chris and he, well, I felt this in the pocket and I was thinking it was like a camelback. I thought this was like a water. Like a bladder yeah. for a camelback. Turns out it's a hand pump. So this is like attached to it. Yeah, and it pumps up. So I was it, thinking, ew, that's like old water or something. You're like, I'm not putting my mouth on that. Right. But yeah, it just pumps up this vest. So <laughs> it makes it basically a puffer vest, which yeah. is interesting. It kind of reminds me of like Back to the Future yeah. too, <laughs> when he's like in the future and his vest like inflates and stuff. So this was only $5.99, so we just... I mean, it'll definitely, it's worth yeah. more than five ninety nine, and it'll probably sell, I'm guessing, around 40 Yeah, I didn't really look at sold comps, but I, so. I did see there's a listed comp with the Kansas City Chiefs, same kind of vest, the pump, and I think they have it listed for 40 yeah. So I think, yeah, definitely. 30 to 40 maybe. It was interesting enough for us to I pick it up. I wanted to show y'all, because... But yeah, unzip seen. it and like pump it up. You can kind of see. Apparently it you inflates... Unzip it? Well, no, but just to show... Oh they can get a better idea on camera so it kind of inflates like a like a air mattress oh like that yeah so like these cells inflate and apparently that insulates you more so if it's like getting windy and cold you can you know pump up your coat <laughs> and have a little bit more insulation okay. more air barrier i guess pretty but cool so that I was got, interesting i got an offer i gotta accept the offer okay i'll accept that sweet and other than that, got these girls, Adidas. I almost feel like somebody painted these stripes on, which it's okay. Oh. I can't tell. I mean, Let's it's see. not like all over, but like the stripes are different colors, like a little bit. I don't know. Either way, yeah, maybe. even if I would have noticed that, I probably still would have bought them. These were again half off, so $4.50. They'll probably sell around 20 plus ship. And same with these little kid Adidas cleats. I don't pick up a ton of cleats, but the kids ones, these were three bucks and will sell around 20 plus ships. So. Other than that, another pair of those just new with tag big pants. Um, this I've seen there the last couple times, but now that red was half off, I grabbed it. So mm -hmm. two bucks on this. It's just a vintage um, made in the USA random camo shirt. So right. I feel like somebody would like that probably around 20 bucks these are Lanzan women's like a swim short it does have like the lining they're size 20 w's like a plus size i do need to wash these they have like some white marks which i feel like looks like deodorant so mm -hmm. hopefully it comes out but they were again only two bucks probably will sell around 20 a ship and then i'm counting my five dollars off this because these were priced at 12.99 because i had one of those five dollar coupons when i went in the store right that's why we went right yeah. <laughs> so this was all the red tag so all half off anyways so i'll count my five dollars off this making these what eight bucks so they were priced at 30 and they're just a pair of car hard pants yeah probably will sell around 30 or so plus shipping so yeah not bad I mean, I assume I'll make at least $10 profit off of all of these pants. The round at tree. Least probably 15 bucks off these. 10, 10, you know, at least 10 bucks off everything that we got profit. Yeah. After fees and everything. And then the vest probably 20 bucks off of. 
So that's at least a hundred dollars profit, probably more there. So. And that was that Mercari yeah, offer that just it takes a while to go accepted. Through, so yeah. It wasn't a super sale, but it's an item I'm very glad to have seen sold. Cool. And then I picked up a couple Stranger Things. Well, not Stranger Things, no. the brand, <laughs> the, the TV show, but things that we don't typically pick up. Um, this. Oh, this was just a personal shirt that I bought for myself. <laughs> I think it was like five bucks. Um, this is a, a slot car set, and it's not like a super nice one. It doesn't have a car, but according to the comps, you know, it's there. Um, I'm probably going to piece it out. I'm probably going to piece it out. And I think this one, the the main part i don't know what it's called the controller or something <laughs> <laughs> the part you plug in and you have your controllers to plugged into there are two controllers in here i think that alone would sell for like 20 or 30 bucks and then piecing out these pieces and we got it for 10 bucks so um whoops oh, Reese, pick it up <laughs> just kidding so there's quite a few pieces there i'm gonna lot that all up i think there's a good i don't know 30 40 bucks of profit in there um, we'll see once I get more into it. You see, it's it's all I, I couldn't really look at every piece in the store. So hopefully at least enough to break yeah. even if not. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it's complete. You know, I don't see any cars, so I'll probably just but piece the it pieces out. Look in good shape. So. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a good one. I think that's the best thing I found. And then there's this, which is another kind of a toy set. It's like a robotics set. And um, I couldn't tell exactly what it was, but it has this Vex here, and there's like these motors. So it just looks like a STEM program, like robotics kit. Um, that one was more, I think it was like 15 or what was it, 20 bucks, 19 bucks, 20 bucks, yeah. So that, uh, I don't know if it's complete, there's no instructions, so I'm definitely gonna have to piece that one out. I think I looked at the motors, the motors were like 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, a sale comp on those so there's a few of those in there yeah yeah so i think you know the the potential is could make a hundred bucks or i you know i could make my money back <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it could be a little bit of a gamble there but yep. so he likes that stuff and i like <laughs> wearing old clothes that yeah. are easy to put on the wall and take a picture of so yeah so I think uh, since we're about to pull our sales we'll clean off this table real quick and then we'll be right back all right, guys, got the table cleared off, and we had a buy me a coffee, right? Yeah, I did want to thank Stephanie. She bought us two coffees, said thanks for the amazing spreadsheet. I'd love to see a video on how you process your items. When do you input the info in the spreadsheet? Um, We can actually just show you kind of with one of these items we just bought. Um, yeah, I don't know if uh, we'd be able to do a whole video on it, per se, anytime soon. Yeah. So but we can kind of show you. Give you an idea. So, again half off so these are four bucks so i'm just gonna come over and i do i keep saying i want to type like the full title out how i would want to copy and paste it into a listing that i'd make but i'm i'm still bad at that so <laughs> i do type out like part of it or as much as i think of so roundtree and york um khaki corduroy pleated pants men's what are these 50 48 by 30 no and then today's date 31 bought these at new horizons cost was four dollars we do put our tax i just know all the tax prices off the top of my head so four dollars with tax is 432 um these are men's clothing and i bought them so yeah, um, basically we type them in. Hopefully as soon as, as we soon get as them. We can, yeah. yeah, you see a few other bags that are on the table that we didn't just buy today. But right. I bought them in the last couple of days, and I do need to get those typed in. But and the reason we do that is because these are yeah. red half off. But right. If I so wait a week or two, I might have forgot that. Right. And then That's an like, easy thing to forget. Seven ninety nine for these. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so um, but yeah, as soon as I can, I type them into the spreadsheet, and then I put them like in a pile to be listed which yeah we've been going through things very quickly recently yeah so yeah i guess the answer is um just as soon as possible and yeah 
Yeah. And as much with as much information as you see fit. Yeah, if so you like have... now if I want, well, I will. Um, when I'm going to do my listing, I'll just copy that, put it in list perfectly. Um, like, let's just pretend these shoes are the item. Then I'll just copy and paste my title. And then, like, I do try to do, it says 140. Most um, platforms allow 80, so I try to make my thing as close to 80, but you can see right now it's only 62, so I might go in and add a few more keywords right. um, at the very end. But that's pretty much how I do it right now. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that answers part of it. Yeah, we can, I mean, that is a good video to probably do at some yeah. point, but I can't promise it'll be super <laughs> soon, so. Well, we do. This has been one of the videos that we've been needing to make for the past yeah, the two inventory. years. Inventory, and I think that would kind of be part of that. That's yeah. putting it in, in the inventory. That's part of the process. At this point, with it not in inventory uh, and just in the spreadsheet, that's just so that we have all of our money and, you know, when and what figured out. Once we, you know, get them folded up and bagged and then put in the box, then we'll go back, find that line you know, with a control F yeah. search and then put in where we put in the bin. Again. Yeah, we did that in the beginning. That's right. So that's, and then once it sells, then we pull it out. So that's kind of the, the process in a quick And I guess you could, nutshell. I've been thinking about like, it, would it be better to just not type it in first, just take a picture of the tag as I'm photographing yeah, it. Yeah, that could be another way to do and it. And then fold it up and put it away all at once. But yeah, I don't know. There are many really ways. However you want to do it. Yeah, that's how I do it right now. I'm sure it's not the best way oh, or the for fastest sure. way. For sure. So. There's definitely always a better way to do stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. hopefully that does answer your question. And thank you so much for yeah, that for support. We do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in helping support the channel by buying us a coffee, there is a link down in our description. And that's just... You know, we don't all, we don't buy coffee right. with all the money. That just <laughs> helps support the. It's just the name of the company. Yeah. Buy me a coffee. We do get coffees with it, obviously. Yeah. But today we got lunch with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got. Oh yeah. We're, we're, paying, we're for paying for our lunch, lunch with our. <laughs> <laughs> so, <you laughs> but we did know, get a coffee. You can think about more. it, whatever you want. <laughs> so. Yeah, it just does help the channel keep going. So we appreciate all that support. All right. Now we're gonna pull our yeah, sales. And our kids. We gotta go get them in 10 minutes so we're gonna pull them really fast <laughs> this is what happens when we surprise ourselves with a thrifting yeah. trip it's like i felt like we got good work done this morning and so i'm like oh okay well let's get lunch and go to the thrift but it always <laughs> takes longer than it should right so. all right i sold this little mickey hat i actually bought this at a garage sale last summer four dollar and i my son wore it he actually really loved this hat and wore it yeah. a lot um and then i sold it on kid is in today for 1620 with free shipping so the shipping is costing me four fifteen. I'm still profiting about nine dollars off of that, so not too bad. Very nice. Then I sold a pair of bogs up here. And just because we're kind of rushing, I might not show you how I'm shipping everything right. today. But um, these are a pair of kids' bogs. They are new and tag. They have a little dust on them, which I showed in the photos. Got these at a thrift store for fifteen, and I sold them for fifty-eight dollars fifty cents with free shipping on Kitizen. Um, the shipping label is costing me $9.50, so I'm still profiting about $26 and change off of those, so not bad at all. Even at paying up at $15 a pair, so. Yeah. I know a lot of people think, you know, there's not inventory at a lot of thrifts, so I think a lot of people might have passed that just due to the price, but even at that high price, it's mm -hmm. still, there's still money to be made, you know? Right. So. Okay, box R, where are we at right here? This one's a pretty good one. Here, I wanna transfer to this side just cause the light coming in is a little harsh. All right. <laughs> so this is a North Face Men's, like I think it's called the Flight Series. It felt like a super lightweight windbreaker. I actually bought this at the store we just sourced at, um, maybe a month ago, for $5.99. And this I sold today for $33.96 plus shipping on eBay, so. Very good. Very nice. All right, shoe shelf, Patagonia shoes. I think I might have bought these at that store too. Um, they do price up their shoes. I don't usually find a ton of shoes there. And the ones I do find are either like marked to like $50, <laughs> so I don't buy them or um, I feel like they just throw their shoes in like yeah. a ginormous garbage can or something because usually they're so dented that Smashed. like yeah. even if the price was good I wouldn't buy them because like the heels are like dented in a way that they're never going to recover mm -hmm. so anyways I did pay 15 for these and I sold them for $50 on Posh so 
Still really good. Or paying 15, still profiting around 25. Okay, DA. So wrestling shoes. These I bought for $9.99 at a Goodwill. Sold them for $29 on Facebook Marketplace. And I actually just had someone on Posh yesterday ask me if I would do 20 with discount shipping on those because I had sent them an offer of like 31 with discount. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I just said, no thanks. And then I deleted the item because I was gonna <laughs> relist it, but then it sold on Facebook. So I'm very glad it sold on Facebook and I don't have to have him make another offer. <laughs> So these marmot, marmot. Marmot. Listen to a commercial yeah. about this. It said it like very like abruptly, like marmot or marmot. something like that. Like a varmint, but marmot. Yeah, and it just sounded like I don't know. It was, it was, a, it, it was very different than I thought it would have sounded. So. It was a funny commercial too. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, these I picked up at a thrift for four ninety nine. Sold them for twenty one twenty one plus shipping on eBay. Yeah. Those are a pair of women's like hiking shorts. Hey, AG. LL Bean. Still Ooh. loving my LL Bean stuff. And this is a super plain item. It's just a long sleeve green shirt, but it is a wool blend, so like mm. a base layer. Picked this up for $3.99, sold it for $26.31 plus ship on eBay. All right, and lastly, oh, actually, that one came in a Mercari. I printed the label, but I didn't write the stuff, so I'll grab that. So BS. another one of these it's been a few weeks since we sold one yeah and there's two more left after this so this one sold for 25 46 plus ship if you're new here i had probably 30 of these at one point and they've all sold i bought them retail arbitrage for 10 bucks a piece mm -hmm. so i'm profiting on this one probably 11 bucks or so <laughs> but yeah um this deal all the way around made me some good money it, yeah. it took probably about a year but I would do it again. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, if we were able to get that much quantity yeah. of items, and they got shipped to my house too. So. Right. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's just a. It's a kid's like three-piece swimsuit, mm -hmm. and that will yeah just ship up in a poly mailer, and then this last one. Oh. Right. Just gotta look up I the. I don't remember where. I put so yeah, this is when something sells. So fine mud pie. Bird romper, so it's an AH. I have a dollar, so it says a dollar eight, so that's yeah. technically a 99 cent item. Right. Um, but with tax, so AH. So then we'll go ahead and pull it, but yeah, when we are ready to pull, we see this bin location here, and then she'll go ahead and fill out the dates old and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I do that each day as I, so like these ones are already typed in with the yeah. dates old. As she prints the so labels. I have my whole February numbers. We were just looking at those a few minutes ago. Yeah. So yeah, and then have a couple sales so far in March, but. So we, we keep up with our yeah, every day, numbers every. So we don't have to go back at the end of the month or year or anything like right. that, because that would be crazy. Yeah. And that's um, just how we do it. There are different yeah. ways to do it. You could do it all. I'm not going to get into it all, but <laughs> there are different ways. We like to break it down sale by sale so that we can know you know, what categories are doing well for us and all that kind of stuff. So that's yeah. that's why we do it the way we do it. All right, and so this is what sold was this little mud pie romper. So again, I paid 99 cents for that. And I accepted a $9 offer on Mercari. The reason, these usually sell 18 to 20 bucks, but when I bought it, I didn't notice. I had a little tear right here, which honestly is gonna be under the baby's like arm anyways. So yeah. it's still really cute. These retail for like 40 bucks. So anyways, I accepted nine. I'm probably making seven something minus the dollar I paid. So. Much better than redonating and losing a dollar. For sure. So yeah, that's so, yeah. What we sold. That's what we sold. I think we're gonna cut it here real quick, get the stuff all packed up, and then I think we'll close out. May, it might be after we pick up the yeah. kids. <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Well, Kathy's back. I actually got our video edited and uploaded that was going up today while she was off taking the kids to well picking the kids up from school taking the packages off to the post office and then she ran some numbers for the month so i'm going to turn over to kathy and we're going to show you since it today is actually the first yesterday was the last day of february so we're going to show you the numbers for february now 
Yeah, I remember saying at the end of January, I thought February wouldn't be great. And I won't say it wasn't great. It, I'm basically where I have been for the last few months. So yeah. I haven't really gained, but I've maintained. And I did list a ton this month, so I think yeah. that should be good. And going forward, it should be great. So I'm going to start here. Right what, what? Pick your poison. I don't know, this man. is your ball game here. All You're right, the numbers queen. Over here first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just finished filling it in because, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so week one. So our goal is always 105 items listed per week. That's 15 a day, seven days a week. Yeah. And that is the bare minimum, right? Like, yeah. Not really our goal, but that's like what we want to do. Yeah, we want to get our legs yeah. in more of a routine before we kind of up that. Yeah. Um, we probably will up it at least. Maybe when our kids start school back in August for the next grade, just by then hopefully our lives are kind of like <laughs> in a better routine and we can do it. It hasn't so, happened yet, yeah, <laughs> but so, hopefully I mean, someday. 15 has been pretty easy yeah. to maintain, honestly. Um, yeah, I was just saying like I didn't miss a whole day this whole month of listing and yeah. I didn't like, I normally feel a little bit stressed like, oh no, I got to get my listings up, but I didn't really feel that way and i felt like i had a lot more time to do other stuff you know yeah the florida on we've been keeping up on other things that we sometimes yeah we just recently went out for the week for a day at at a hotel you know just leave and yeah so we want to be able to do that more without worrying about this stuff yeah getting more ahead of the ball yeah so my goals are 105 listings per week and like four thousand dollars value added to my shops per week that's not profit necessarily it's just the listed value of the items i'm putting in my store so not really including cost of goods yeah so anyways i did meet it every single week so week one so week one here i'm kind of because it was only five days i'm including these last two yeah. days here in that week one so week one i listed 110 items so five extras plus um and it was for 4890 dollars. so i more than beat the 4,000 and I listed extra so the extras are because I did a lot of multi-quantities this month I did a really big retail arbitrage in the middle of the month right and yeah so it's not like I went and did single items listing them extra they were just like the same item yeah listed one time but there's five of them so I'm counting right. that it's technically five listings they'll all sell eventually and so in that case, on those days, you still did 15 yeah, unique just, items, yeah. but sometimes you had multiple quantity. Yeah, so when it says, like, yeah. plus one, so I, that was one multi-quantity, and then right. it was $10 extra, four extras, mm-hmm. totaling 260 So, yeah, and then week two, I just did write the 105, um, $4,005, so just hit over the 4000 that week. <laughs> Um, week three, 106 items, so one extra item that week for 4500 and four, week four, 145 listings for 6815 So that was must have been the week where I listed almost all that retail arbitrage because yeah. 145 that's an extra 40 items. So, yeah, that was the ones where I had all the extras. So, yeah, which came out to a total listed of 466 items. So I wanted to do 400, right? No, 420. If it's 105, 105, 420. Yeah, because yeah, so February is, this month was, if you add, like we're putting those two days up there, it yeah. was a perfect four week four month. Yeah. So I wanted to do 420. I did 466. And what's six? I wanted to do 16,000 in value added. I added 20,000. Yeah. 210. So. We're good there. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, very happy with that. And now, the, that is because of that retail arbitrage, which yeah, I mean, usually I still, is not as profitable. I think I would have still hit the goals yeah. just right about them if yeah. I didn't have that. But I'm planning to do more retail arbitrage, so at least one maybe per month, one big yeah. stop. Um, but yeah. And then the pink numbers are like personal items that we listed, either mine, Chris's, or the kids' mm-hmm. outgrown things. Yeah, so that doesn't include any of our personal items. This is the first yeah. month where we've kind of differentiated Separated those. Them. Yeah. Because I want to make sure I'm listing 105 unique items for profit. Yeah. For profit. And then, yeah, because our items, they're going to give us money back in our bank where we can, you know, yeah. buy new stuff or but whatever. But they're not really profiting anything. Yeah, they're, they're just like breaking even or losing a few bucks. But, anyways, listed 55 of those for. Eleven hundred eighty-five dollars. So, those will also sell and get some money back on those. Yeah. So I'm very happy yeah. where we're headed. You should be very proud of yourself for this yeah. month. <laughs> so I've always said my goal per day, profit-wise, is to make two hundred dollars. Yeah. 
this month I did two hundred and two dollars and twenty nine cents rounded up. <laughs> so that's our per day. Once you yeah. divide, this is our actual sales. So yeah, well, so like this, so in our gross sales was eleven thousand four seventy four. Yeah. Um, but then the profit was fifty six sixty four. So that divided by twenty eight days because this is a short month. You know, if I had two more days, I would have hit over six k mm -hmm. profit, which is for us that's great. We again we have mentioned before we completely debt free we don't have a house payment anything right. like that so not i realize that not everybody can live off of this yeah we definitely yeah. can mm -hmm. um and we do also obviously have youtube and other random things so. right but yeah um i'm very happy with it um obviously our goal is 100k profit for the year which is like 270 something a day or eight thousand three hundred thirty three dollars she's got it up here yeah so so that We're if not, you do that times 12 that is 100k and that's right. your net goal you're trying to My get that as your goal, net yeah. goal so last month was better obviously january had 31 days we did i think 65 or 700 something like that yeah which is still obviously way under that but i know the first probably half of the year is and then hopefully it starts kind of snowballing yeah. after that once yeah. it you know it takes a few months, like, when you start doing um, a habit, basically, to for it to show up in your sales. Right. So, yeah. Sweet. We will see what happens in the <laughs> next few months. Last year, March was our best month for the whole year, like, even yeah. better than fourth quarter, any of those months. But that is when everyone was getting their stimulus yeah, money. Yeah, probably due so, to that big first stimulus check. Um, but, you know, every year people get taxes around this time. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I, I mean, March in general has always been a good month in reselling for me, so... Yeah. Yeah. So high hopes, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this video. It's going on uh, about 520. The kids are hungry. We're hungry. We're going to have some tacos for dinner and... Yeah, so hopefully you guys liked this kind of video. It's a little bit different. We kind of did it spur the moment. We didn't really make any plans, and I don't know. I think we had a good day. We uh, got a lot done. We got to go out. We had a nice lunch together at a new place. I've had that was my first time having curry, I so I like <laughs> it was delicious. I loved it. I liked my yeah, you had some drunken noodles or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, it was great lunch. We got to go thrifting a little bit. Found some good stuff to pay for our lunch, and yeah, showed you guys what sold and and our numbers for the month so overall i think a very productive day we're gonna go have fun with the kids for the rest of the night and that's gonna be it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye